Oh my goodness. Y'all, what happened to me this week? I was not expecting it. I don't know. I just wasn't expecting it. It caught me off guard. I didn't know how to handle it. I didn't know what to do. I didn't know if I should tell my husband. I just did not know. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Bro, I'm out, man. And it didn't scare me. Although it was a scary situation. It did not scare me. But it definitely creeped me out. It definitely made me say, okay, I'm going to have to do some extra head on a swivel here because this should not be, this should not have happened to me. This should not have happened to another YouTube content creator. None of this stuff should be happening. We get on YouTube, you guys, to share our experiences, to share news stories, at least for me, news stories. People get on here to, it's a form of entertainment. At the end of the day, we are real people. But what happened to me this week and what happened to this other content creator, that was some creepy stuff. Okay, let's get into it. What's up, fam? So, I don't know where to start with this video. I just got through watching my friends at IAG Farms and Resurrection Ranch put a video up saying that someone called Child Protective Services on them saying that they were leaving their little newborn Benji in the house. Y'all, this YouTube, okay? This is YouTube. And I have my own personal story that I want to tell y'all about. But this is YouTube. And this is also people's life. Now, while they turned that whole thing that was a negative around and made a positive of it and prayed with the people, the child protective services that came out and the kids walking around the, the property and all of that, it turned out great. But this has happened to many people on YouTube that people, for some reason, get attached and decide, well, I don't like how you're doing this, so I'm going to call Child Protective Services on you. I've seen other YouTubers have Child Protective Services called on them. That's insane. So my prayer's out to them. Now they've turned their comments off. And now I'm definitely not about to turn my comments off, at least not right now. It hasn't gotten to that point. And I don't want to have to do that. And hopefully down the road they'll turn their comments back on and feel comfortable doing so but I definitely understand them wanting to kind of distance themselves even though that's farthest from who these people are they believe in taking people in and nurturing them in Christ and teaching them so I pray that one day they will you know find a way to figure out how they can have their comments on um but for now they say leave it in the email so y'all this is youtube i've said that a number of times already but i put up this video the other day and hours later i got a text message was not expecting a text message from anybody. Didn't know who this person was or what they wanted. And they may have meant well with that text message. But if I didn't give anybody my phone number, no one should be contacting me unless you're contacting me through my email. That is why I have my email there. But some kind of way that person found my number and they decided to text me concerning this video and what had happened to them and while I was sympathetic to what happened to them I told them I'm sorry that happened to you um, but I was taken aback that someone would actually call or well, text a number 
that was not given to them that I don't want to say freaked me out, but it did give me reason for pause. It did give me reason for concern. It did make me say, oh, Lord, I'm going to have to tell my husband this, and I don't want to have to tell him this. Because he might be like, well, you need to stop doing YouTube. Y'all know he's not a YouTube fan. So, mind you, I'm a grown person. I can do what I want, but I'm still married, and I still have responsibilities to my husband and to my children and definitely to protect them and them to protect me so i don't know what's going on on youtube why why people would do that i understand wanting to wanting to let me know what what was going on because things are happening rapidly you know out here in the world with all these different diseases and all these stores closed and all of that but please use my email please use my email or you can DM me on my Instagram and eventually I will check my Instagram I check my email more than I check my Instagram that's why I said email so I just wanted to say that I don't know that person probably meant no harm and I mean no harm in saying what I'm saying to you but I'm saying this for anyone that's doing YouTube right now please be careful with what you're putting out there because you don't know you really truly don't know what another person is experiencing in their life what they're going through what they've been through and where their mindset is and that's not to say that this person was out of their mind or was crazy they probably just wanted to inform me but i really do and want if you want to let me know any news that i can use or whatever use the email like everybody else or dm me like everybody else i don't want to have to stop doing youtube i don't but and th and that is why I am certified to protect myself there's not a place in my home that I can walk that I don't have access to protect myself because you don't nothing is private anymore nothing is private anymore we, we have all of these cyber attacks and leaks and stolen information that's happening so people have access to your information nothing is private so i just want to let you guys know that and even if you're not on youtube keep your head on a swivel protect yourself learn how to protect yourself get licensed if you have to do so and while i do not intend to turn my comments off like um iag and resurrection ranch has shout out to tim and megan and mama lily listen I don't want to have to get to that point either that's insane to have you know living your life and praying over people and giving to people giving you know giving back to people to all the stuff that they do that someone would have such a harsh heart to do something like that but God is going to triple double bless them for their troubles and that's all I got to say on that. I, I love me some Megan. I love me some Tim. I love the boys. And now I love the mom. Now that I know her um, through YouTube, I know her. But I would not have picked up my phone to call Megan if I didn't have permission, meaning she gave me the number or not. I just want people to enjoy the content that I put out enjoy the content that whatever creator you watch put out and know that they are real people at the end of the day on the other end of the screen that you're watching from your phone your laptop your TV we're just regular people living regular lives and some of us are not living regular lives some of us are living extraordinary lives 
filled with God and filled with peace and love and hope. And we just want to share it with everyone so that everyone else will experience that same thing or everyone will know what's happening out here in the world, you know, keeping you informed and going go out of my way to make sure y'all have this news whether the video does well or not this was i'm just gonna say it and i'm not scared of anything because i'm not scared of anything when it comes to i might have some fears but i am not scared of any person okay i fear god that is who i fear and i fear not making him happy and not pleasing being pleasing to him and not having the work that i do speak for him so that is all that i'm af uh, afraid of I, you know that is i may have a fear of going someplace by myself but i'm gonna do it because i have faith in god that god has me and there is nothing that can happen that he won't foresee or that he won't protect me from or get me through when i do go through it because we're going to go through some stuff, y'all. We really, really are going to go through some stuff. But anyway, I don't want to keep y'all because I want to get off before my phone go off again because I'm out here trying to do some Uber Eats, earn some extra money. Um, so feel free to hit that like button to help your girl get some extra money because that'll push the video out to other people, okay? I'm still... It don't matter how many subscribers you got. You don't get paid on your subscribers. You get paid on your views. Okay? So, y'all, take care. Stay safe. Keep your head on a swivel. Remember that I love you. But God truly loves you more. He created only when you be the very best you that you could be. And when you are, go out and spread God's love. Peace, love, and light. Thanks for being here on Tommy Bikes TV. And this applies for Tommy Bikes Life, my other channel as well. If you haven't subscribed, please go over there and subscribe to the channel as well. And check out these ride-alongs that I'm doing with Uber Eats, my camping, and I'll call you.